Hey, yeah, welcome along to Field Mill. We have immediate post-match reaction from Neil Ardley. Neil, what did you make of that now? Um, I thought in the end they were the better team. I thought uh, first 35 minutes, I thought it was a good game. I thought the game plan that we had worked well. Um, we've had two one-on-ones, then moments change games, don't they? Nathan Thomas and uh, Will Patchen have got in 1v1. And as you know, you've got to take them chances and, and it could be different. Um, and then as we start to chase the game, the game gets a bit stretched and they got a lot of pace and a lot of movement. Um, and second half, we, we got a little bit raggedy, um, and particularly after the second goal, which is disappointing. So uh, it's been a, you know the two games I've played, we've been very good in the first half, not so good in the second half. So that's something that we, we need to address. I know it's early days, but why do you think that is? I don't know. It's it's you know whether it's a mentality. I don't know whether it's a physical thing. We don't know, but we'll work on all of it and try and turn it around. But uh, like I say, first half was first 35 40 minutes was I thought was a decent game um, and uh, either team could have scored how much do you rue those missed chances from the first half of course you do <laughs> your goals change games you know um, and the disappointing thing is we worked very hard at defending crosses and you know we're disappointed with their goal the guy coming in around the back post with the bodies that we had in there um, you know so but that's been a common theme as well so there's lots we've got to we've got to sort out we know that um, maybe one or two fresh faces as well coming in but we, we, uh, we'll be alright we just need to work hard at it and, and turn it around there's good, there's good players here and we'll, we'll get it right You when you came in made no secret of the fact that it's, it's crosses that have been the undoing of knots a lot this season 73% yep. I heard you say um, again today they seem like they have a lot of space for those crosses now you've only been in a short time so it's not going to turn overnight but do you, are you seeing any improvements or do you see the same problems then? Well I did against Sunderland I thought you know we it's, it's not just stopping crosses, it's defending them when they come in and we did that really, really well. And today um, we got done on one, um, so that's disappointing. So all we can do is work on the training field on it, um, do our very best. Um, but it's, it's hard because we're trying to have an attacking intent as well. You know, we don't want to just sit and protect the back four, we want to try and go forward. And like I say, in the first half we had three or four really good moments where we did that. That was a real baptism of fire for you today. I mean, yes, you had Sunderland on Tuesday night, but... 49,000 seat stadium with 8,000 people and it's almost like a behind closed door friendly I mean how different was that today for you and how, how did you find it were you nervous going into the game today no I, I just really wanted to do well for the fans you know I know it's a big game uh, chairman's not been well I wanted to try and make him feel better with a with a, with a win um, but it, I knew I was under no illusion Sunderland and Mansfield away were going to be tough games to start off with so we've got loads of work to do I'm confident we'll get them organised and we'll get it right and we'll get them fitter and all the things that, that we need to do um, and hopefully now with Kane getting on the pitch and, and Steady getting some minutes we, we'll have a little bit more firepower back as well Yeah what do they bring you I mean you had Stead out there today for 80 minutes and in that first half in particular you just see the impact that he has Well he doesn't have the career that he's had without knowing how to play the game. Um, so we've just got to make sure that we, we do the rest around it. You know, our problem's been conceding goals. We know that. So we've got to try and get that balance from, you know, keeping clean sheets, but not being a, a defensive team that, that just sits back and tries to protect. And Kane Hemmings, he got a few minutes at the end there. How far away is he from being able to start again? Well, he got a hell of a lot more minutes than I wanted him to have. Mm -hmm. um, I think he was due 15 or 20 and I put him on 30 minutes. Um, you know, I just felt in the second half we didn't start the second half well enough, as well as we'd finished the first or certainly played played the first half an hour. And um, you know, I just thought I wanted to change the shape, try and get two up and, and have a go early rather than leave it too late and then try and have a go. But you know, when we concede the goals that we've conceded, it's uh, it's tough. We noticed that there was no Mark Crossley here today. I miss his big face. He was ill. Um, rang up this morning. He was been throwing up all night. Didn't want to bring it to the boys um, with a bug. So uh, we're not sure what's wrong. But obviously, we wish him speedy recovery and hopefully he'll be back in next week. You mentioned that you you want to get a couple of new faces in. How how much thought have you given, and how far down that road are you ahead of January? <laughs> it, it, what you don't realise is it changes really quickly leading up to the, the January window. People that are available now might not be available on December 31st. So it all changes, but what you do is you bring your list together, you start your work, you look at the type you might need, um, and you, you work that out, and then and then you, you work your way through it and, and try and make them as, as snappy as you can. But we, we've got some work to do with it all. Um, but first and foremost, we've got work to do out on that pitch to make sure that we can pick up some results along the way.